Determine the average of the six integers. Well, you add them up. 22 plus 23 plus 23 plus 25 plus 26 plus 31. Divide by how many there are, which is 6. And that would be the calculation, which in this case is 150 over 6, which is equal to 25. The average of three numbers, y plus 7, 2y minus 9, 8y plus 6 is 27. What is the value of y? y plus 7 plus 2y minus 9 plus 8y plus 6. And then there's three numbers there, right? Yeah, three numbers. They even tell you that. Divide by 3, and they're saying that is 27. So there's the equation. When you collect like terms, this is 11y plus 4 is 81. And when you solve for y, you will get y equal to 7. Four positive numbers, not necessarily different, and each less than 100, have an average of 94. Determine with explanation the minimum possible value for one of these integers. Let's say those numbers are a, b, c, and d. If you add them up and divide by 4, you will get the average, which in, their, in this case they're saying is 94. So that means a plus b plus c plus d is 94 times 4, which is 376. Now we want the minimum possible value for one. So let's just say we want the minimum possible value for D. Okay, so that that would be achieved by giving the maximum possible value for the other three, right? And they're all less than 100, so the maximum value would be 99. And since they're not necessarily different, they could all be 99. So 99 plus 99 plus 99 plus D is 376. And when you solve for D, you will get 79. And that is the answer. In the diagram, triangle PQR is right angled at R. If PQ is 25, RQ is 24. Determine the perimeter and area of triangle PQR. Let's label this. PQ is 25, RQ is 24. So with Pythagorean theorem, PR squared plus 24 squared is 25 squared. And when you solve for this, you will get PR equal to 7. So therefore, the perimeter looks to me like 7 plus 24 plus 25, which is 56. And then the area is uh, 1 half base times height, right? So 1 half base is 24. Height is 7. And that is 84. So there you go. Part B. In the diagram, triangle ABC is a right angle at C with AB equals C, AC is B, and BC is A. Also, triangle ABC has a perimeter of 144 and area 504. Determine all possible values of C. Okay. So based on the information they gave me, A plus B plus C is 144. And 1 half base times height, which in this case is A times B times 1 half is 504, or AB is 1,008. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so what do they want me to figure out? Determine all possible values of C. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so, and then they've, they've given us this clue here, so hopefully we'll be able to use that clue somewhere. So with this equation, A plus B looks to me like 144 minus C, right? And does that uh, help me in any way? Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually concentrating on this for some reason since they've given it. I'm trying to see if that would help me. Uh, what happens if I square it and make it look similar to what they gave me? They've got to, they have to have given that for a reason. So a plus b squared. Well, on this side, it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And on this side, it's going to be, well, let's just keep it uh, 144 minus C for now squared. I don't think we need to expand it. Okay, well, A squared plus B squared, since this is pi, uh, a right angle right here, that by definition, uh, you know, according to Pythagoras, is C squared. So th this A squared plus B squared combines to C squared. And now this 2AB, well, we have AB, so 2AB is double that, so 2016. So that becomes 2016. And there we go. We got basically, uh, with the help of this nice clue, an equation with just one variable. And now, 
Now I'll expand it. So 144 squared minus 288c plus c squared. And the c squares cancel, which is very nice. And let's try to solve this. So 20736 minus 216. And therefore 288c, and well, whatever that works out to, I, I think c in this case is going to be 65. Yeah. And that solves number two. Vicky starts with a list, A, B, C, D of four digits. Each digit is 0, 1, 2, or 3. Vicky enters the list into a machine to produce a new list, W, X, Y, Z. In the new list, W is the number of zeros in the original list, while X, Y, and Z are the numbers of ones, twos, and threes, respectively, in the original list. For example, if Vicky enters 1301, the machine produces 1201. What does the machine pr produce when Vicky enters 2330? Okay, so the machine is going to produce a list, W, X, Y, Z, four numbers, right? This first number is the number of zeros in this list. Well, how many zeros are there? There's one zero. The next number is the number of ones in this list. Well, there aren't any, so there's zero there. The next number here is the number of twos in that list. There's only one two in that list. And finally, the, next, the final number is the number of threes in this list, and there's two threes in that list. So the machine will produce one, zero, one, two. Vicky enters ABCD and the machine produces the identical list ABCD determine all possible values of B two plus 2C plus 3D. So let's discuss this. This uh, You have ABCD going into this machine and it spits out the exact same ABCD. Oh, interesting, right? Is that even possible? Well, it is. And... Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about this. I have no idea what this original ABCD is, right? But one thing is for sure is that over here, the A represents the number of zeros in this list, this original list. The B represents the number of ones. The C represents the number of twos. And the D represents the number of threes in this original list. Okay, that's by definition. Now, regardless of what this original list is, the number of zeros, the number of plus the number of ones and the number of twos and the number of threes, all of those equals four, right? Because there's only four numbers. Like for example, let's say this list, uh, like we did right up here, turned out to be one zero one two. Well, if you add these four numbers, it's four, and it will always be four. A plus B plus C plus D from this will always be 4. And I, I hope you are convinced of that. Because it represents basically the number of zeros plus the number of ones plus the number of twos plus the number of threes. And that is four numbers maximum. So you can try it. If you're not convinced, try it with some other number. Put in something here. You can put in like 3, 2, 0, 1. Is that what we did? And then let's, the, let's see here. So our, our list, if we produce it, the number of zeros is 1. The number... Well, this is just 1, 1, 1, 1, and that, again, if you add them up, will be equal 4. It's always going to be 4. I want you to be convinced of that. So that's the first point. Now, the sum of the digits uh, over on this side th uh, this time, over on this side, and uh, I'll try to explain this carefully, is basically a times 0 plus b times 1 plus c times 2 plus d times 3. Now, what am I doing here? Basically, the sum of the digits of this side, right? So, for example, um, if you, you were to use this guy, we have... Um, a, B, C, D is th this right here, A, B, C, D. So it would be A times this 0 plus B times this um, 1 
plus C times this 2 plus D times that 3. Now this is going to be B plus 2C plus 3D, right? So it's B plus 2C plus 3D. And in this case, um, if we use the values of 1, 1, 1 for B, C, and D, this totals uh, 6, right? Yeah. But here's the thing. This example, these numbers are not the same as these numbers. See, this is 3, 2, 0, 1, and this is 1, 1, 1, 1. So I just gave that as an example, you know, to kind of prove this point right here. But in the question part B, they're saying that A, B, C, D is going to spit out A, B, C, D. So that means is that this guy is going to be the same as this guy. You see what I mean? Because the sum of the digits on this side is the same as the sum of the digits on this side since it's the same digits. So the sum of the digits on, uh, we'll just call this left side and right side, the sum of the digits of the left side which is calculated by this, which ends up being b plus 2c plus 3d, is the same as the sum of the digits on the right side, which is a plus b plus c plus d, but only when a, b, c, d converts to a, b, c, d. So that means that b plus 2c plus 3d is the same as a plus b plus c plus d, only in this scenario, and that is 4 since we got that. So I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, I'm going to actually give you an example, which I'm, we're going to have to prove this in the next question, but I'm going to give it to you now just in case. Let's say you start off with A, B, C, D as 2, 0, 0, 2. Now, there's a, now watch the magic happens here. If we put this into a machine, what are we going to get? Well, the first number is how many zeros? There's two. Second number is how many ones? There's none. The next number is how many twos? There's two. And the last number is how many three? And there's none. So two, 2020 spit out to 2020. Some of the digits here, well, it's 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, which is 4. Some of the digits here, okay, we've got uh, uh, this A times the number of zeros, plus this uh, B times the number of ones, plus this two times the number of twos, which is times, this is representing how many twos you have, and this is the number, and this zero times how many threes you have. And if you do this math, uh, if I uh, did this correctly, uh, this is also four. So 4 is equal to 4, and this is basically this B plus 2C plus 3D. All right, so that takes care of that. Determine all possible lists A, B, C, D with the property that when Vicky enters A, B, C, D, the machine produces the identical list A, B, C, D. Okay, so this is the, this is the part of the question where they actually want you to figure that number out. All right, so... A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 4. I'll always, we went through that in the previous question. And then in this kind of scenario, we also showed that B plus 2C plus 3D is also equal to 4. Okay? All right, so then we can figure this out. Since A, B, uh, C, and D are all numbers, positive numbers, and they're all they're either 1, 2, 3, or 4. Is that right? Yeah. So that gives us a little bit of a, uh, how you say, limited choices. From this, it, D, D cannot be 4 or 3 or even 2. It can it only be 0 or 1. D can only be 0 or 1. Yeah. Because otherwise you would never be able to get 4 because there's no negatives. Okay, so let's try D equal to 1 and see what happens. If D equals 1, then we have B plus 2C plus 3 is equal to 4. So that means B plus 2C is equal to 1. Yeah. So then, uh, now we got a couple choices. If C is a 0, this would mean that B is 1. 
and therefore my A, B, C, D would be, uh, well, what was A? Well, let's just figure out, A. I think I have to calculate A, right? By putting it back into here. So that would mean A is 2, I believe. Yeah. So it would be 2, B is 1, C is 0, and D is 1. And then when I spit it into the machine, let's see here. The How many zeros are there? Uh, 2, 1, 0, 0. There's one zero. How many ones are there? There's two. How many twos are there? One. And how many three is zero? So two, one, zero, one goes to 12, 10. Okay, so that doesn't produce an A, B, C, D going to A, B, C, D. We need these things to be identical. Okay, so that, that didn't work. Okay, so so much for B, D equals one. Now, was there any other choices? If C is zero, can C be one? No, C can't be one because if in this case... If C was 1, then you would never get 1. Okay, so we've exhausted the D equals 1. So we didn't get anything there. Let's try D equals 0. That's the only other option we have. So that would mean the B plus 2C is equal to 4, if you sub into there. And now C can be either 2, C can be either 1, or C can be either 0. If C is 0, B would be 4. If C is 1, B would be 2. And if C is 2, B would be 0. Correct? Okay, so um, let's see here. Uh, and then I got to figure out A by plugging that back into this guy. If B is 0, C is 2, and D was 0, A would be... 2, I believe. And then for the next one, C is 1, B is 2, A would be 1. And if C is 0 and B is 4 and D is 0, A would be 0? I think so. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let's do the A, B, C, D. Hopefully uh, we'll get something now. So this is uh, 2, 0, 2, 0. This is 1, 2, 1, 0. And this is 0, 4, 0, 0. Okay. Now we spit this out. And by now you're an expert, so you know how to do it. This is going to be 2, 0, 2, 0. This is going to be... 1, 2, 1, 0, and this will be uh, 3, oh, wait, hold on, this actually, we got a 4 here, oh, I, I, oh, hold on for a second, can you have a 4, no, you can't have a 4, you can only have 0, 1, 2, 3, is that right, um, yeah, yeah, right here, I oh, forgot about that fact. Yeah, it's only why well, I think I, I I made a mistake there. Sorry, I should have put it can be only zero, one, two, and three. Sorry about that. Okay, so this one falls apart because this is not even allowed. Okay, so no reason to even go there. So then we got we got only these guys and these guys. So twenty twenty and twelve ten are your only solutions for this part of the question.